Seal. Seal. Zeal. Zeal. Sue. Zoo. Sue. Zoo. Sink. Zinc. Sink. Zinc. C. Z. C. Z. That's American for Z in English. <laughs> okay, try the sentences. He's going to this. No wait. He's going to his zoo on Tuesday at five. Close your eyes, please. Close your eyes, please. We have bananas and apples on Wednesday at six. We have bananas and apples on Wednesdays at six. At six. In American, banana, and in English, banana. Banana. Bananas. Bananas. Bana like car, bananas. Mm -hmm. Bananas. Those five houses are new. Those five houses are new. Houses. Ha houses. Yeah. House. With Z or with S? You tell me. I think with. Let me house this one. Mm, it was S. Houses. No. Z. Z. Okay. Two Zs. Houses. Houses. Okay. That's it. Houses. Okay. Hillary's eyes are full of tears. Hillary's eyes are full of tears. On Thursdays, he arose early. On Thursdays, he arose early. His businesses have been going better than better these last few years. His businesses have been going better these last few years. The boys are playing boys games. The boys are playing boys games. Sue is going to the zoo. Sue is going to the zoo. Okay. You keep reading. Steam makes hissing sounds. Mosquitoes make buzzing sounds. They race. Yeah, with S, right? They, okay. They race, race outside. No. So, what does race mean? Um, to make it grow. No. Race. No. Like it could be. Race. Race, race. Race. No. No, 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 because it would be R I S E, right? So, race, I don't know. Race. So, what does this mean? Race. Race, race. That one. No. No. R. When you're A running. Yeah. Race, a race. Um, uh, yes. And this is? Race. The verb race, like to race. make it grow. So race? Uh, the car running. Yeah. Race, raise. Race, okay. And this one? You tell me. Um, I think it could be with Z. Yes. But, okay. Okay. So they raised rise outside Chinese but if you think tomb. about it look at this how do you pronounce C like an S or like a K so it can never be Z oh true so the first race will be Z and the second one S right like first race would be with Z and the second one with S right yeah this is raise mm -hmm. and this is rice rice okay Raise rice. Okay. Raise rice. They raise rice outside Chinese cities. Okay. They they rise raise okay, sorry. They raised raise they raise rice outside Chinese cities. 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 Okay. Why is this? How do you pronounce the S here? As I said. As a Z, not a said. Z. Okay. Look, said. Z. What's that mean? Um, uh, like Z. Just like like you, a teacher. Z. And yeah. this is the letter. Z. Ah, okay. Z and okay. So. Z. How how do you pronounce this S? 
cities with like a Z, right? Not like. What does like mean in English? Uh, like is similar to. It's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like a Z. It is a Z. A a Z or as a Z. Okay. Because it is a Z. It's like you don't work like a policeman. You work as a policeman. Yes. Okay. And why is it a Z? Because it ends in a vowel, and the vowel, ah, uh, yeah. Because it's not the rest of the yes, letters. Yes, exactly. Basically. Okay. Okay. Next one. Okay. Baseball and tennis. Baseball. Baseball. No. Baseball. Oh, with S. Baseball and tennis are good games. So, what <laughs> what is this? Base. And what does it mean? Base. Ah, uh, like a base, like um something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like. Base. Oh, okay. Now I don't know if we have to use Z, S anymore. But okay, base. Yeah, because okay. before you used S for everything, so you never knew. Yeah, and now I, I, I don't know because I think everything is with Z. So I'm confused. But okay. Most base. of the plurals are with Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But other words, depends. <laughs> because look. We've got SE, mm -hmm. and that's raise. And here we've got SE, and that's base. Base, yeah. Raise, base, yeah. Raise, yeah. True. <laughs> and here we have IS, and that's. Z. S. Is S. Tennis. tennis. <laughs> tennis. <laughs> okay. It's not tennis. 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 Baseball, tennis. Okay. Tennis, okay. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. No. Baseball tennis. No, like I have to think about it and say it a couple of times. Yeah, because before everything it. was an S. Yeah, and now, I'll, now I don't know. <laughs> so after 20 years of learning English, now you have to know which one is an S, which yeah. one is a Z. And also today, when I was uh, listening to the videos, I realized that most of the people pronounce it w wrong because uh, because of the plurals. Now I know if you have to pronounce it one way or, or another, and even in the um, listening, they do it wrong. Who are the people? Um, the people who um, who does the videos. Who do? The, oh, the people, people who think do. People think it's No, it's like it's singular. No, it's plural. But What's people. the singular people? It's one people. A person. A person. Yeah. Pe people is only singular if you're talking about a race. Okay. See what I mean? No, really. <laughs> people like um, a race. So, like the peoples of the world, what does that mean? The populations okay. The population. okay. of the world. Okay. But the singular of people is normally? Person. Person. So people is plural. Mm -hmm. So people do. Do, okay. This is Spanish mistake. Yeah, but also because uh, it happens to be the same with uh, anyone. Really? Anyone? Yeah, like sometimes I. One is singular or plural? Anyone? Like it refers to. One plural? is singular or plural? One is singular. Okay. Plural. But anyone, like when it's like. Anyone is cualquier uno. Yeah. But anybody? It, body is singular or plural? Singular. Like any, I so know it refers any to is cualquier, one. Cualquier cuerpo, I, cualquier persona. I know, but I don't know, I always have mistakes with, with? I don't know why. With. Because uh, you're not with, thinking about the logic. Yeah, but I don't know. For example, if, if I have to do a question tag, then I also mistake with anyone. and With? With, with, sorry. With anyone on. Yeah, because I, I don't know. You have yeah. to think about the logic. Anyone? No? Baseball? Yeah. It's a compound noun. Yeah, base and ball. Yeah. Yes. And base is, is what type of word normally? A noun. And here? Baseball, also a noun. But acting as an adjective together in the word with mm -hmm. baseball? No? Mm -hmm. What kind of ball? A baseball. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
It's not a ball base. And why is why is base go first? Because, like, if it works as an adjective, adjective, then adjective it has to be with v. Adjective. Adjective if, with v. Yeah, like nobody can say adjective. Tiv. Then it has to go, um, like, in the front of, yeah. You understand? Yes, it has to go before the noun. Before the noun, that's it. Yes. Okay, carry on. Uh, okay. And I exaggerate slightly your z's because I'm not hearing them much. Okay. <coughs> we sometimes go to movies. Please. Pass me the sultanas and raisins. Z. When does his niece stock classes classes with the nephews? He he's going to shave. You said F. Yeah, shave. Sorry. He's fishing. Brush your shoes. We're washing the dishes. It's a fish. No, it's a fishing boat. It's. It's. It's a fishing boat. Why will it be it's with an S? Why in here? If why why are you pronouncing I T S with an S? I because wait a bit because in the rules T is part of. The letters, um, shits, fits, yeah, it's so it's, it's these yes. rules about the plurals also apply to what? What else with an s ending? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The rules about s endings that mm -hmm. you learned apply to which situations? Sorry. Just plurals? Uh, no. It... What else? Um. Wait, wait, I'm thinking about. Also, so I don't know how to put it because I know the letters, but I don't. So you tell remember. me. Explain. Okay, so basically, apart from the plurals, you have to plurals. Plurals. Yeah. Okay, so apart from it, I was I'm not really sure about it, but there was some. The possessive and the third person singular. Ah, okay. Okay. I... So give me, give me, th explain the three examples. Okay, the three examples when it's in plural, right? Or the other ones, the possessives and. Ex the... Explain this plural, okay. third person singular and possessive. Okay, so um, let's start with the possessive and third person singular. So possessives and third person singulars, slurs, they, um. Use like the normal S, I think. I'm not sure. And then, um, when you use a plural, then it changes. Because, for example, um, with the letters PTK. Okay, let me explain to you. Imagine bills. Okay. Okay, bills. There could be two bills. No, mm -hmm. Bill Clinton and Bill Smith. Yeah. You could have Bill's house. That's apostrophe S. Mm -hmm. Or you could have the two bills, houses, which is S apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you could have, if it was a verb, yes, you could, the verb, to bill someone is to emitter factura. Okay. And so you can say, he bills 5,000 a month. Mm -hmm. The same rule applies to the three cases. Okay, ah, okay, okay. So uh, when we use a verb, the verb, for example, uh, uses, I think, um, it was S, but the noun is Z. I'm not quite sure, but it was no, something like that. No, they're all the same. So it doesn't matter whether it's the third person singular, or the apostrophe S, or S apostrophe, or the plural, the same rules apply to all three. Okay. It's in the title of... The the course. So 
Read the title. English pronunciation for Spanish speakers. 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 Some major problems. Major. Major, yeah. Some major problems. Pronunciation of S at the end of, of words, plurals, possessives, and third person singular present. Okay. Same rule. Okay. Oh, so it applies to everything. Yes. Perfect. That I know. I think. So do you want me to tell you? It will so. Be... The jobs aspects. No? Mm -hmm. Two jobs. And he... Jobs, if it was a verb, which okay. it isn't, okay. and Steve Jobs, it's all the same. Okay. So, see? Specs. Yeah, it's, it's, and, it's true. And if it okay. was S apostrophe, because mm -hmm. there's two jobs, mm -hmm. it would be the same. Jobs. Jobs. Okay. 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 So the possessive, jobs. plural. Third person singular, and here is a noun in plural. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But for example, in here, uh, like uh, jobs, no, in here, for example, jobs uh, is a plural and it ends with P. And here then, is a plural, and here is a plural with possessive or a singular possessive, yes. So in here would be the verb, the, 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 so, sorry, the. the the noun is job, the plural mm -hmm. you add an S and you pronounce it as Z because ah, it ends okay. in B. Okay, so all of it would be Z, right? Uh, yes, but okay, all okay. the same. Okay, okay. These rules apply to all of them. Okay. Explain what I just said. Okay, so basically, um, all of the rules I'm, I will explain later applies to... Um, apply? No, because I'm talking about all of the rules. And how many rules do you have? One? No, I have several rules. So it's plural. So, ah, uh, uh, yes, it's true. <laughs> okay, so. Every rule is every singular. Rule? Okay. All so, the rules is plural. It's true, it's true. Sorry. Same as in Spanish. Yes. Cada yes. persona y yes. todas las personas. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, you know. So, I will explain to you that um, all of the following rules um can be used with 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 um the plurals the possessives and third person singular present which are these rules so these rules are that um when do you use which 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 like which the word like relative clause or explain when you use which which okay so which is a noun or which what kind of which in a question okay um which of these yes when you have a closed set okay do you have a closed set here no uh i could create it you didn't though so what do you have you have an open set Okay. You have an open set. What do you use instead of which? Um, How do you say which in Spanish? Which um, wait wait. Like qué, right? No, cuál. Cuál. Which one of these? Okay, yes. Cuál. Cuál de estas? Yeah. In Spanish, what do you want to use for an open set? Um, we use the same. You know, use qué. No, but we can also say cuál. Like, I would like to know which of these. Which of these, but then you have a closed set. So, okay. when you have an open set, okay. you say K. And in English, what do you say? Um, you can also use which, right? No? no, use which when you have a closed set. When you have an open set, use what? What? Okay. What are the reasons... Which are the reasons, but are you talking about a defined set of reasons mm -hmm. normally? Okay. okay, that's the difference. Okay. So here you're saying what you want to say. What are the reasons? Mm 
-hmm. Not which, because if we have ten okay. reasons okay. here, then okay. that's okay, you see? Okay, yeah. That's the normal difference. Mm -hmm. It was, okay. I follow you. <laughs> okay, so, what, explain this, explain this to me. Okay, uh, this, okay, so I will explain to you one particular case that, well, usually applies to all of the cases because, because for example, if we have a word and we use it for, like, to say several things or we use it and it works as a noun or adjective or something different, mm -hmm. then it works the same way, like the S would sound exactly in the same way in one case and in another, another case, right? Something like that. What do you think? <laughs> I think you want to say that you can. the rules of the S endings applies to, to possessives, plurals, and third person singular. singular. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what you wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's so. Sure. Sure. Just one second.